Welcome to Electron Line. In this next set of videos, starting with this one, we're going to be looking at various geometric figures, squares, rectangles, triangles, circles, and so forth. And we're going to talk about the specifics, how to find the area, how to find the perimeter, in this case also how to find the diagonal and so forth, whatever is specific to each figure that we're going to be dealing with. Starting with the more common figures, we have a square and a rectangle. To find the perimeter, so I use P for perimeter and A for area, to find the perimeter of a square, since all four sides are the same, and that's the definition of a square, at least one of the definitions, all four sides are the same, all four angles are the same, that makes it a square, then we could say that the perimeter is simply four times the side, and the area is simple the side times the side, or side squared. To find the distance of the diagonal, we use Pythagorean theorem, and so therefore the hypotenuse of this right triangle is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the sides squared, and that ends up being the square root of 2 times the side. The square root of 2 is approximately 1.4, so the diagonal of a square is approximately 1.4 times the length of a side. For rectangles, we have a long side and a short side. We tend to call the long side the length and the short side the width. The perimeter then, as we go around the rectangle, will have two lengths and two widths. The perimeter will then be twice the length plus twice the width. To find the area, we simply multiply the length times the width to get the area. And to find the diameter, just like with the squares, it's going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the sides of the right triangle formed by the diagonal. In this case, it'll be the square root of the length squared plus the width squared, and we cannot simplify it anymore like we did for the, the square. Now, here we have a couple of examples. Let's say we have a square that has a side equal to 5. Let's find the perimeter, the area, and the diagonal. The perimeter is going to be equal to 4 times the side, which in this case is 4 times 5 which is equal to 20. So if the side is 5, the perimeter will be equal to 20. The area is going to be equal to the side squared. In this case, that would be 5 squared or 25. And that, of course, will be square units, whatever the units are. And to find the diagonal, the diagonal is equal to the square root of 2 times the side, which is approximately 1.4 times the side, which is equal to 7. With a rectangle, as an example, we have one that has a length equal to 8, the width equal to 5. So to find the perimeter, that would be equal to twice the length plus twice the width, which is equal to twice times 8 plus twice times 5, which is equal to 16 plus 10 or 26. So that's the perimeter of this particular rectangle. To find the area, we multiply the length times the width, in this case, I'll be 8 multiplied times 5, or 40, and that would be square units, whatever the units are. And finally, to find the diagonal, that is equal to the square root of L squared plus W squared, the length squared plus the width squared. So the square root of, that would be 8 squared plus the W would be 5 squared, which is equal to the square root of 64 plus 25. And so we know that the diameter is equal to the square root of, let's see here, 64, that would be 89. And that would be somewhere between 9 and 10 with the calculator. 89, take the square root, it's nine, about 9.4, rounded off to one decimal place. And that's how we find the perimeter, the area, and the diagonal of both the square and the rectangle.